Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Secretary Acosta, for women, reproductive health care is health care. But your department has issued rules that deny the science of women's health care and allow employers to deny workers health insurance that covers contraceptives. Despite the fact that the courts have repeatedly blocked these rules, you and this administration are continuing your efforts to deny women contraceptive coverage. I'm curious, do you know how much on average contraception costs for women if it's not covered by, your, by their insurance? Um, Congresswoman, I, I certainly am aware it is expensive and the price uh, likely will vary. Okay, so if you want to just make a best guess, what would that be? Um, Congresswoman, I, I don't think it's appropriate to speculate. It, uh, it is expensive and, and I, I can tell you um, that, that whether it's contraceptions or drugs, um, often it is beyond the ability of many individuals to pay. That's right. It is very expensive. Without insurance coverage, birth control pills can cost $600 a year, plus the appointment to get a prescription can cost another $250. Do you know that women use contraceptives not just to prevent pregnancy, but also to treat medical conditions? Um, Congresswoman, I, uh, I, I'm not a physician. Um, I, I imagine if it is being uh, used for medical conditions that there are, um, that that would be pursuant to a physician supervised. So I'll take that as a yes. Uh, do you know what those medical conditions are? Um, Congresswoman, I, I'm not a physician, so I really couldn't opine as to what those medical conditions would be. Okay, so let me tell you, women use birth control to treat polycystic ovaries, over, ovary syndrome, endometriosis, and anemia. These conditions are painful. They're linked to ovarian cysts, heavy bleeding, and infertility. And that's not all. I'm a nurse, and I'm the co-founder of the Black Maternal Health Caucus, and I can tell you that for far too many women in this country, pregnancy can be dangerous or even deadly. One of the judges who blocked your rules wrote that they would cause over 70,000 women to lose contraceptive coverage. 70,000 women. Women's lives and women's health depend on their ability to access contraceptives. Your actions, your actions, sir, are denying science and putting American women at risk. Moving on, last year, your department approved a rule extending the limit for short-term limited duration health insurance plans from three months to three years. These plans are commonly called junk insurance because although they are very profitable for insurance companies, the coverage that they provide to patients is trash. Now, Secretary Acosta, I only have a few minutes, so I need you to stick with a yes or no only, please. Yes or no, are you aware that junk insurance plans are not required to cover people with pre-existing conditions? Um, Congresswoman, I, I, I would hesitate to use the word junk insurance. Sure, I'm not um, asking you to characterize. I'm asking you uh, if, you're, if you know whether they're required to cover people with pre-existing conditions, yes or no. Um, Congresswoman, um, to, to some extent your question characterized, and so I have to push back. If, if the question is whether short-term limited duration plans have all the protections of other plans, such as those available through association health plans, um, then the answer is uh, yes. That's they, not they the do not, then the, 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 my the time, answer sir. is they, yeah, yes, they do not have all the protection. Okay. Yes or no, are you aware that they are not required to cover prescription drug costs? Um, Congresswoman, I do not. I, I certainly can provide the list of the areas of coverage for uh, association health plans. I'm not asking about, the, sir, I'm not asking about association health plans. The question is about short term limited duration insurance plans, yes or no. Are they required to cover prescription drug costs? I would have to consult to see which are the requirements that okay. they have to cover. Are you aware that they are not required to offer maternity coverage? Yes or no? Congresswoman, as a general rule, the coverage of short-term limited duration plans is less than that of other plans. Okay. Yes or no, are you aware that junk plans can allow insurance companies to retroactively cancel coverage after a patient files a claim? Again, Congresswoman, I, I am aware that the protection offered is less than that of other plans. Okay. I could not go to this. So just for the American people to understand what we are outlining, these short-term limited duration insurance plans are not required to cover pre-existing conditions. They are not required to cover prescription drugs. They're not required to cover maternity coverage. And no, they are not required to cover inpatient hospitalizations. Now, sir, you've been an attorney interacting with the federal government for several decades now. So it's fair to say that you are familiar with the administrative procedures Act, right? I am familiar with the administration. Okay, yes or no, are you aware that this act requires you to consider comments from the public when making rules? I'm sorry? 
Are you aware that this act requires you to consider comments from the public when making rules, issuing regulations? Yes, I am. Okay. Yes or no, are you aware that 98% of the comments from healthcare groups oppose the rule that you approved? Um, Congresswoman, the, uh, the, the rules were primarily reviewed by HHS, so I could not speak to the... It's a tri-department rule, sir. Yes or no? Um, Congresswoman, again, I could not speak to the percentage. I will say... And I think it's important that we have, through associational health plans and others, I'm not asking about associational health plans, sir. Try to provide low cost. I am not asking about association health plans. This line of questioning is about short-term, limited-duration insurance plans. Yes or no? I cannot confirm your. Okay, thank you. This administration has been relentless in its attempts to undermine access to health care. In nursing school, we are taught how important it is to listen to our patients, and instead of listening, this administration is ignoring patients and nurses and doctors. The administration is not protecting moms or kids or people with pre-existing conditions. It's attacking them. And let me tell you, sir, not on my watch. Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Thank you.